built in 1894, has an ingawa that transforms to suit the climate of Toyama. The eaves drop down low. This is unique in that the crossbar beneath the eaves has a groove cut out. We also see that there's a sail here with the rail on it. Take a look at this. Large shutters slide across to partition the ingawa and the earthen floor beneath it indoors. While there is snow, these shutters stay shut. This space is called Doen. This partitioned space tones down the bitter cold of winter and... For people of this region, it's a great feeling to be able to walk on dry ground in winter. It gets us excited from the feet up. This is another house with a Doen. The family has held tea ceremonies here for generations. During the time of deep snow, the Ngawa plays a vital role in conducting the tea ceremony. In the corner is a cleansing basin. Hands are purified at the dim ingawa. The usual path to the tea room is replaced by the ingawa during winter. In darkness, the door is opened. to reveal the bright eaves, reflecting the glitter of the snow. After the dramatic change in scenery, guests are treated to tea. The yin and yang theory is important in the tea ceremony as well. So, passing through the dark ngawa before arriving at the tea room gives depth to the tea the guests have. There is a refined touch to this basin as well. Listen. When water drips down, the splash reverberates on the pot buried underneath to create a pleasant ring, like that of the koto zither. This is a heart-lifting ngawa. Would you look over there for a moment? I've always been right by your side. Ingawa's origin is said to be found in the architectural style 
of aristocratic mansions built around the 10th century. They featured banisters around structures and staged many stories of romance. Tale of Genji, Chapter 34 New Herb Kashiwagi, a young noble with a beautiful appearance, sees a cat suddenly leap out. Behind the pulled back curtain, he catches a glimpse of Ona Sanomiya, the woman of his dreams. She was the wife of Genji, but she and Kashiwagi take the path of immoral romance. In ancient times, the Ngawa was the stage of romance. This is a village in the mountains of Shizuoka. During the Bon Festival, Japanese people honor the spirits of ancestors. The Uchino family manages a tea leaf farm here. Nobuyuki Uchino will make a horse from corn on the Angawa. It is for ancestors to ride on to come back to this world. It is custom for the master of the family to make this. It is hard, like a rock. It won't go in. The horse is complete? His mother, Mie, will take a look at it. Such big ears. Well, they should be big. For Mie, who has seen the work of her late husband, this is not satisfactory. You made its legs so darn short. Go get some longer ones. They're too short. I don't have much experience, so I cannot make it well. How was the horse your father made? Much better than mine. This is Yasuichi Nobuyuki's father. He died in 2011 of heart failure. Yasuichi loved the Ngawa. Even when he rebuilt the family home, he left the original Ngawa untouched. The cypress flooring has weathered many generations. On its surface are countless scratches that evoke fond memories. Every day, Yasuichi would sit here after taking a bath. Today's third mark of beauty is Connecting family of the past and present. Across Japan, the Ngawa once served a vital role in many of life's ceremonies. It was from where caskets left the home and new brides entered. At the Uchino residence, it is the job of Nobuyuki's two daughters to put up the decorations for the Bon Festival. 14-year-old Misaki and her 11-year-old sister, Akiko. I loved Grandpa. He was strict, but also very warm. The Bon Festival lantern is put up as a guide to lead ancestors back home. The dear spirit of Akiko's grandfather will return to this Engawa.
It's nothing special, but it's a fun place. I can feel the family's history here. This is my favorite place. It wouldn't be the same without this. <laughs> no, don't go out. On the first evening of the Bong Festival, the fire to welcome spirits back home is lit. As they sit on the Ngawa, memories of Grandpa come back to the girls. I wish he had lived till I turned 20 at least. He had promised me that he'd buy me a kimono for my coming of age ceremony. I wanted him to be here for that. He said that, did he? He never said anything like that to me. I'm about to cry. He loved his granddaughters so much. His spirit will surely be right here when Misaki comes of age. Thank you for this Ngawa, Grandpa. Such a beautiful sky. What? But... Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I can't. <laughs> I am only able to live on this Sengawa. <laughs> 